Welcome back. I'm Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I'm here with our weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and your wellness. So we know that toxins are all around us. They're everywhere in our homes, outside of our homes, but the trick is knowing how to minimize these toxins in a really efficient way. And one of the toxins that has come to light over the past several years that we have found everywhere are microplastics. That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to share with you what microplastics are, what they're found in inside your house, how you're creating them inside your home, and then how they're impacting our health and wellness. I'm also going to share with you how to get microplastic toxins out of your house now, and then how to plan in the future to reduce exposure to these toxins. So microplastics are exactly what they sound like. They are microscopic, tiny, tiny pieces of plastic that end up all over our homes in our dust. We ingest them and they're found in oceans. A lot of times that's one of the places that we hear about them, but now they're finding they're actually inside of our homes. So just due to the amount of plastic we use, these tiny little plastic fragments have been found literally everywhere. They're in the air we breathe, in the human body, in the water we drink. A recent study actually detected microplastics in both adults and babies, and according to the study, babies had over 10 times the amount of microplastic particles in their body compared to adults. There was actually another study that showed microplastics are transported throughout the human body through our blood circulation. They found microplastics throughout the body, including places like the spleen, liver, colon, lung, placenta, and breast milk. Microplastics come from synthetic textiles, personal care products, and even from opening plastic containers and bags and caps. So while there is so much to be learned about microplastics, we already know that these toxins are impacting our health and our wellness. A recent study suggests that the presence of microplastics may actually increase the risk of heart attack and other cardiovascular problems. And the same study also showed that microplastics could double the risk of stroke. And as they learn more about the impact of microplastics, there are studies that have been performed on mice showing that they can disrupt the gut biome and impair learning and memory. There was still another study that showed because of the several compounds in microplastics, they're actually an endocrine disruptor. There is potential for the exposure to microplastics to alter natural hormone production and then negatively impact the reproductive system. And finally, another study suggests that the immune system cannot actually remove the particles right away. The exposure and accumulation of microplastics may actually induce chronic inflammation and increase the risk of immune disorders. So with microplastics being found practically everywhere, you can bet that they are all over our home and we're exposed to them multiple times throughout the day. So the biggest place that microplastics are found are in our children's bedrooms and this is because of the soft toys and the non-cotton bedding and rugs and carpets that are found there. The second place we see a lot of microplastics would be the kitchen. So plastic cutting boards release amounts of microplastics into our food. Teflon coated pans can also release microplastics into the food as we cook in those pans. And then plastic food packaging is another source of microplastics in our home and it releases microplastic particles every time we open up those plastic containers and heat our food up in those plastic containers. The way you clean up your kitchen actually matters too. So sponges, microfiber dishcloths, and kitchen brushes are huge sources of microplastics in the kitchen. And then finally, don't forget about your drinking water. Our drinking water has been found to contain large amounts of microplastics. The good news is that RO systems are an excellent tool to reduce exposure to these microplastics. And then finally, your synthetic textiles. So anything in your home made of a synthetic textile, including your clothing, anything from polyester, nylon, acrylic, rayon, will shed microplastics in the wash and around your home. So as you look to the future, you can actually look for ways to minimize your exposure to microplastics as you purchase things for your home. First, you can avoid plastic packaged products. Remember that these give off tiny little particles every time you use a scissors to open them, tear them apart, or open up a container. 
you can also avoid synthetic textiles. So instead of getting microfiber, polyester, nylon, or acrylic, you can opt for an organic cotton, and this would be for your clothing, your sheets, your bedding, even toys. You also never want to microwave food in a plastic container. Every time these foods are heated in plastic containers, they end up giving off microplastics and embed them into the food. And then finally, avoid plastic water bottles. So whether it's a reusable water bottle or a one-time use water bottle, it's just best to avoid them at all costs. Anytime that plastic gets a little scratch or a little dent, you're exposing yourself to microplastics at home. And then there are really good ways that you can actually reduce microplastic exposure right now. A lot of it is going to be habit-based, but there are a few things that you can purchase in order to help. So first we wanna dust more and we wanna dust better. Microplastics have been found in dust in homes and by removing the dust, you're actually removing the microplastic particles from your home. So use a wet cloth rather than a dry one, change your HVAC filter frequently, and then vacuum with a HEPA filter, vacuum, to reduce the most amount of dust. You can also invest in a high quality air purifier. This will help filter out microplastic particles that are in the dust and in our air. I love Medify Air. This is my purifier of choice after I did a lot of research. It's an exceptional purifier with an excellent filter for an extremely reasonable price. You can also use my coupon code HHOTV for $15 off of your purchase. And then we want to ditch plastic in the kitchen. Anywhere we can get rid of plastic in the kitchen, swap out your plastic cutting boards. You could clean with natural sponges and a natural dish rag. And you can also check out my kitchen essentials checklist, which will help you reduce plastic all throughout the kitchen. And then you can filter your drinking water. This is one of the best ways to reduce microplastic exposure inside your house. I personally love the cloud water filter system. It's an RO system that removes almost all of the contaminants, including microplastics. But I also love that they have an option for adding back in the minerals that are good for us that the RO system removes. So even if you just opt for like a water filtering pitcher, this is a really important step to reducing toxins in your water. And then finally, use compostable one-time use silverware. So I completely get it. Sometimes one-time use products are necessary, but instead of using plastic silverware and straws and cups, you can switch over to a compostable product. I love repurpose. This is an awesome choice for the convenience without the microplastics. You can also use my coupon HEALTHY15 for 15% 15 off your purchase. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you can find at least one way to minimize your exposure to microplastics around your home. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel because I'm here every single week with new videos, new tips, new ideas to help you create the healthiest home possible.